Details on a very unusual crime ring, a group of people smuggling succulents. Yeah, plants busted in Northern California. Saw the van on the side of the road and I ran a check on the plate. Plate came back as a rental plate. So I put on my, um, my ghillie suit and I came out through the bushes here. I crawled out here and sitting right here on the bluff was a large um, internal frame backpack. I reached inside the backpack, felt around, and I noticed they were succulents. We were heading south, and that was when I noticed the people that were coming up off of the trail. These people have big, large bags, and I said to my boyfriend, what are these people doing um, that they shouldn't be? A lot of poachers are going after the largest plants, and rather than grow them from seed, which takes years and years to get up to these big rosettes. Uh, and as beautiful as it is, it's just absolutely the wrong thing to do to take a plant like this out of the wild. But only in the last several years has poaching just gone through the roof where they're taking literally tons of succulents from the California coast and shipping them to Asia. So these uh, succulents that are meant to live on our California coast in the cold and the wind and the rain and the seawater are, are sitting on ledges in, in kitchens all over China and Korea. Huge demand, um, and they're worth a lot. Anywhere from like 50 to $1,000 is what some of these plants are worth. These guys are getting as much for these plants as they're getting for abalone, and they can stay dry. They're easier to ship. They're easier to package. They stay alive longer. I have a feeling this is the new abalone. I don't like the idea of people coming here to commercialize and capitalize on, on what's in our backyard. I don't think it's right.